Hello and welcome to Bosco's Toy Box. Back with more toy collectibles. And this time I am back with a, uh, I would say maybe a small uh, or a good abundance of Hot Wheels that I've, um, that I bought within the last few weeks. Maybe even as far back as like a month ago. And uh, I need to show them off because I'm slightly behind on all my stuff. So what I'm going to show you first is just, um, I, I've got a, uh, a bunch of randoms and then I got a couple of like collections, uh, like series collections. <clears throat> so first off I'm going to show you, uh, I got a Shark Cruiser and it is the blue version. I think they've actually had some other colors released, but I love the color blue. And I actually really, uh, and actually I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> so I can show you the car just a little bit up closer. Let me move that. And then this is just to show you, uh, like the teeth, the front uh, grill, I guess you can say. And I actually love the uh, top uh, design on the shark uh, or on top of the car. Um, I've got really bad, uh, I don't have natural light coming in because it's already 4.30 and it's already starting to get dark here. And, uh, but that's just to show you the car. I actually really do like that car. Um, I think I may have like a gray version. Uh, I really can't remember. Uh, this next one is a, uh, a car that my friend, uh, Mike got me. And, uh, this is a... Uh, it's called a street cleaver, and this is another one I will open up. <clears throat> and it's just to show you that this uh, is actually kind of cool because, um, like recent cars or even some uh, of the like the match boxes where this would be a, a part on the car uh, would be uh, plastic, but this is actually kind of cool because this. Uh, cleaver part or the shovel part is uh, metal which I think is really cool and then everything else is <coughs> excuse me everything else is plastic so not just the shovel part here but like the bottom part the base is also metal but uh, kind of a very cool uh, little car there like a hot rod uh, construction car so that is very cool Okay, up next is, uh, this is another one that is uh, a car that my friend uh, Mike got me. And uh, this is a Land uh, Crusher. <clears throat> and let's see if I can, I'm going to open this one up as well. <clears throat> and just to give you... A little view of if this will okay it's it'll it just did a hard focus thank you okay so that just I like I kind of like the little um, I don't know if you want to call them tempos on the side I guess you can uh, kind of like that um, like a fire kind of explosion type of symbol I guess kind of like that and then I'll show you the top view there you go same kind of uh, uh, like decal that's on the side or symbol and then it's got a metal base which is very cool okay so the next car uh, I'm going to actually I'll just show you the one that uh, Mike got me as well like, I love uh, sh like cop cars SWAT uh, vehicles or like uh, police vehicles stuff like that and uh, this one is called the Ford Mustang GT Concept. And this is another one that I'm going to be taking out of the package. And I will show you that it does say Sheriff on the side. If this camera wants to focus. There we go. It says Hot Wheels Sheriff. And it's got this really cool kind of like a... Call it translucent blue, I guess. Translucent blue... Um, top on it and I love the uh, sheriff's badge that's on the hood of the car so very cool 
and I do like that. And then it's got uh, pl uh, plastic base, of course. Okay. So, very cool to add to my collection of uh, police vehicles. Um, okay, the next one. This is also one that Mike got me within the past week or so. And uh, this one is called a Rescue Duty. So this is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like an ambulance uh, vehicle. And another one I would love to take out of the package, which I'm going to do so right now. Okay, so, come on, focus, camera, there we go. It says Hot Wheels, it says Track First Response. Sorry, I was looking inside of my camera viewfinder and not at the actual car. Sometimes I have a tendency to do that, but um, it's kind of got like this uh, yellowish, uh, kind of like gold, uh, trans uh, not a, I guess it is like a translucent, um, I almost want to say it's kind of like, a, like when the light hits it, you can actually see that it's like full translucent, but I'm just kind of looking at this and not the greatest of light, but very cool. Okay, next up we've got a, now this is one that uh, I think I got it, or I'm not sure if Mike did, but um, I haven't, I don't like normally see a lot of the um, Humvees. I have one other Hot Wheel Humvee, and um, I just don't see that many, and this is actually just like the second one that I've seen, and I'm going to open this one up, and I kind of like the um, jungle type of camo uh, body on this, and as you, I think what this is supposed to be is like a tiger. It, yeah, it is. It, you have to see it like at the right angle, I guess, the right light, uh, like there. There, it looks like a tiger, Bengal tiger, I'm assuming. Same thing on the other side, and then it's got a trailer hitch. It's actually got a, because uh, I think this is a metal bottom, so it's got a metal trailer hitch, which is actually kind of cool, because you don't see many uh, trailer hitches on uh, cars, um, especially I think on Hot Wheels, I think. I think they're more um, more on the, like, the, like the Matchboxes and not like the Hot Wheels. Okay, next is one that uh, I got, and actually Mike got me this too. So I have two of these, so I'm giving one to um, uh, Count Stankus, because uh, I bought him uh, a few cars. So I'm just going to throw this in his box. I thought this was kind of cool, because it is actually a really kind of cool car. This is from the uh, X-Race, <clears throat> excuse me, X-Racers line. And let me pop this open. So you can kind of appreciate it out of the package, and you can actually kind of see... When the light hits it, you can actually kind of see the inside. You can actually see through it. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm, and then it's got the metal bottom. So uh, this is very, and I, I actually forgot to tell you, this one is called the Bulletproof. So very cool. And uh, I'd be kind of curious to see uh, when I actually do, uh, which I tend to get uh, some uh, tracks and, and stuff like that. I want to see how this one races. So very cool. And I like that side work on it. Very cool. Okay, next up is uh, the Bifocal 2. Uh, Mike got me this as well. And uh, I love the... Uh, uh, I'm going to pop this one open. And I love the blue with the uh, kind of like metallic like the silver metallic come on focus there we go so that is a very cool looking car uh, I really love that car and actually I think they kind of look good together like the X racers even though that this one here is not part of the X racers line <clears throat> but yeah the bifocal too very cool looking car uh, I want to see if maybe I can do something with that with the toy photo because even like a top view or something because uh, I, I like the top view better than like a side view. <clears throat> okay, up next is 
Another one that uh, Mike picked up for me. And this is a 67 Chevelle SS 396. It's part of their Flame series. I like the Flame cars. Uh, you know, of course, some better than others, just like any other line. Um, but this, uh, let's see, because I haven't really appreciated it out of the package yet. And I actually do kind of like the flame work, especially the top portion of that hood. Let's see if I think it's focusing more on my background stuff. There we go. And I got a car like this that's kind of got like that pagan devil symbol on the hood. That's what it kind of reminds me of. But I actually like I actually like the black against this um, yellow and bluish flames. It's very cool. And this one is another one. I would love to do something with some kind of uh, toy photography on this car. So very cool. And I'll just show you the bottom. Okay. Next is a... Uh, uh, this is... Almost just, uh, no, I thought it'd maybe be like a police car, but not really. Almost looks like one. Uh, it's a Project Speeder. <clears throat> uh, one that Mike uh, got me in, in like a little bundle, which is very cool. And it is going to be popped out. And I do actually need to kind of get things moving here because I do have a lot more cars to show. And, come on, there we go. Okay, so that's just to show you, I like the exposed engine, I like the uh, orange, orange-ish uh, windshield. Very, very cool. Okay. Next, uh, I'm just gonna keep this one in the package, but I'm gonna show you when I was uh, grocery shopping at Smith's. I got one of the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Gamora uh, vehicles because it was on sale for $249 when they had it priced at $349. So that's just going to keep in the package. So that was pretty cool. Um, two I'll show you that I'm going to keep in the package, but it's just going to be added to my Batman collection. I got this Batmobile from the 1988 uh, Batman movie. And this car here really needs to be, uh, you really can't see it on camera, especially in crappy lighting. You really can't appreciate uh, this, how cool this car is. Because you, you can't really see the yellow uh, highlights in the, um, it, it's, like the it's like border highlights almost. Kind of like outlined, if you can kind of see that yellowish bordering. But it's a very cool uh, vehicle, and that's just going to go in my um, Batman collection. And then this one is too. This is an Arkham Knight uh, Batmobile from the video game. I got this uh, yesterday, actually, at Smith's. So, two very cool cars to add to my collection. Um, these two cars, which I'm probably going to keep in the package for right now, are part of the Halloween collection from 2015, which... I thought which was a, <clears throat> it was like a really crappy uh, Halloween line this year because they're just so plain, so unoriginal, and just I mean, and I only got two of them because the Smiths that I went to only put out two of the four models because there's four all together. So I, was, I really peeved about that, but uh, I I think the best thing about this line is just the artwork. Uh, I think that's it. I mean, the cars are kind of suck. I know Count has mentioned that it was kind of a crappy line, and I know um, a few others in our collector's talk really didn't find it all too... Uh, they weren't impressed by it. But for right now, these are going to be kept in the package. Uh, another one I'm going to keep in the package that my friend Mike got me. And I'm, Actually, I'm just going to set this off to the side because I can't get it angled right. And uh, this is uh, the Hot Wheels Red Line from, uh, it is a 2015 series. And this is number 9 of 18. And this is the 84 Ford Mustang. And I actually think I drove a white 84 Ford Mustang, if I'm not mistaken, uh, back in the day. But um, very cool. And it's uh, metal on metal. 
as you can see by the bottom and it's got the red line uh, tires so very cool so this is out uh, for 2015 if you can find them they were very hard to find Mike uh, that bought me this is having a hard time trying to find like uh, just a, even just the metal and metal series uh, this is one that I got uh, about a week and a half ago. Uh, this is a cool one. They've had many different versions and colors and styles of this. And actually, I want to open this one up. Just because I actually like the colors on this. It's kind of got that cotton candy type of um, colors. Uh, the, the pink and the blue. And I just like that. So that's very cool. And I'll show you the back. There we go. Okay, very cool. Okay, next up is one of their brand new cars for 2016. Uh, a couple of the uh, friends in the collector's talk were talking about uh, not really seeing uh, many of these out right now, but they are out. This is a high roller. Uh, it is labeled, uh, actually it's part of their showroom series, but it is labeled as a new, I forgot what this is, it's a new model. Um, which I, uh, I really can't see where that's at right now, but it's it's supposed to be some kind of new model casting, I guess. But I actually like the colors in this because it's actually uh, kind of like the car that I showed you here. It's kind of got the metallic and blue. And then this one is a darker meta or uh, I'm sorry, a darker blue, but still that silver metallic kind of thing. And it's just not lighting in here just really sucks so you can't really appreciate how good this car looks and I actually really like this car a lot okay next up I already have one of these uh, in a black and white version and this is yellow and black and this is a highway hauler too I actually want to do something with both of these highway haulers that I have uh, when I go to San Francisco but I really do like these this is very cool. Okay. So there is that car. Uh, one that I bought yesterday that I really love is this uh, 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 Wagon. And this is one I've been really wanting to take out of the package. Just because I love the look of this car. I, it's just, it's awesome. And it, it just, there's just something about this. I think it's the... Um, Tempos on the side and on the hood and I just love the way this car looks and I'm really hoping to do a really cool toy photo with this Okay, next up is Right now. I'm not gonna open these up, but I think I will eventually This is part of their uh, this is a 2015 line. This is a camouflage line and This is the 68 Chevy uh, Nova Sorry, I'm looking at it through the camera again. I guess I'm doing that. I gotta look at it off camera. And uh, camouflage a Chevy Nova. And then on this one, I've got, which is actually my favorite in this line, is a uh, 79 Ford pickup. And uh, there are, and I, if you wanna pause that, there is six in the line, in the series. Okay. And then the other one, which is a pretty cool one, is a Roger Dodger. Exposed engine, and uh, so very cool. Okay, and then I do want to open these up, but it will be for another time. Uh, I got this about a week ago. This is the Batman 5-pack that just came out. It comes with a, I'm going to try to show you on the side here. It comes with a Batcopter comes with a Batmobile with like red translucent um, uh, top here. It comes with a Gotham City police car. It comes with a Penguin, uh, I guess that would be a Roadster car, I guess. And then a very cool Joker car, which I, you know, I want to get that out. This is the one that I really want to look at is the Joker car. So very cool. And then the last series set that I want to show you and I'm sure you can hear my dog whining in the back. So I got my window open, so I'm sure you can hear him whining. Uh, the Star Wars series, which I got this last month, and this is the only one on the peg that I found at Walmart, and this is the Enforcer one. 
So I was just kind of waiting around until they restocked the shelves and sure enough, I got it right and I apologize for that. I got it right at the right time because I got the rest of the series. So this is the Prototype H24 Darth Vader. Okay. And then this is the Scupa de Fuego. And this is the Sith car. Very cool. And these are going to stay in the package, of course. Definitely not taking these out. This is a Impavido. Uh, Impavido 1. And a little hard to see, but it's got a lot going on on the top there. Which it's got the see through stuff like the. Um, oh, the. Uh, I forgot what car this was called already. The bifocal. There you go. Okay. And then we've got the separatist vehicle here called the Sin Sinestra. Very cool little car there. Okay, next in line we got the Etorium, the first order car. And it's got a great um, red highlights there with the symbol of the first order. And it's got the Star Wars in red there. So very cool. Next we've got the resistance vehicle of Fast Feline. Okay, so very cool. And these are still on the shelves. Um, they don't, uh, they, they do go fast, but they're actually, I think it's like the one Star Wars thing that they keep constantly restocking. Unlike the other Star Wars toys that they like just put out once and then that's it. Uh, for like, and then like two weeks later they put out more. Like they're constantly putting these out. Uh, this is like the Jedi Order car, the uh, Scorcher. And so we can show you the top there. It's it's really hard to show you in these packages without bending the the backings, and which I don't want to do. But that's just to give you an idea of the Star Wars series that's out. And there are uh, eight in total, which I've already showed you. And they are not uh, depending where you go, of course. Uh, Walmart has them for ninety four cents each. So make sure you check those out and pick those up because they are uh, pretty cool cars. Even for 94 cents, they're just worth getting to make it part of your Star Wars collection. And uh, that is all of my Hot Wheels. Um, I do have more thrift store toys, but um, I need to... Um, I'm going to Broad Acres here, the flea market out here uh, next, uh, like next week. And uh, I want to wait till I get more toys to do a big video. And uh, I have a couple more videos coming up that I need to work on here. And uh, But just in the uh, comments section, uh, let me know what you thought was uh, the cool cars that I picked up. Like your favorite ones. And or just any other comments about the Hot Wheels or even the Matchboxes that are out right now. Because I do love collecting them. And in the description below, there is my a link to my uh Flickr uh, toy photography page and I'm constantly doing toy photos which I'll be doing here as soon as I get off the uh, camera here and then also in the description below is all my friends in the collectors, to uh, collectors talk trading circle check out all their videos they always do uh, th there's an abundance of us probably uh, I think like 20 of us that always put out uh, constant stuff of toy collections and uh, toy pickups and just check out all theirs um and it's just worth really checking out so uh until next time this is bosco signing off